Space combat plays a surprisingly important role in No Man's Sky. Whether you're being accosted by pirates, going out bounty hunting for cash and good standing, or attacked by sentinels for harassing local ships, eventually you're going to have to blast your way out of a sticky space situation. And if you're going to do so, then you should do it in style with the maxed out loadout I use in every one of my hostile space encounters. This gun is amazing on its own, but fully upgraded? It's practically unstoppable. What is this gun, you might ask? Well, it's the Positron Ejector. Its blueprint can be acquired for 150 nanites from Iteration Helios, a vendor of ship technologies in the Space Anomaly. You can then install it for a mere 200 uranium, two wiring looms. Now, once you've unlocked the blueprint and gone through the effort of scrounging up that 200 uranium, you probably think you're set. And while this is a potent weapon right from installation, I wouldn't recommend stopping here. See. This weapon is essentially a space shotgun. It has terrible range, which it makes up for with extreme damage, but that terrible damage range and projectile spread can make a big difference in your battles. Plus, you can only get off two or three immediately consecutive shots before it overheats. So, to play to your strengths and minimize your weaknesses, I strongly recommend seeking out S-Class upgrade modules for this thing. Make sure to have at least 2,500 nanites to spare, because these things are expensive, coming in at a substantial average of 550 nanites per module. They have the chance to be found at any space station, but let it be known that each station has a fixed stock of certain items, and visiting the same station twice won't change what item it sells. So when searching for S-Class upgrade modules, your best bet is to either repeatedly warp to the nearest star system, or just go out to the station terminus in your current system and begin the process of warping to each of the recent systems you visited. Whichever method you choose, make sure to check the stock of the ship technology merchant in the station for S-Class Positron Ejector Modules. Once you strike gold, or rather, yellow, stop the searching process. You've found your system. Buy the only module of the kind in their stock and install it in a slot adjacent to your positron ejector for a small adjacency bonus. You'll see the bonus activate because the weapon and module icons will be outlined. Once you've purchased the module, autosave your game by hopping in and out of your ship. Go to options and reload autosave. Doing so will replenish the vendor's stock without changing what they sell. Buy another module and repeat the process of saving and reloading until you have a grand total of four modules purchased and installed. Don't bother buying any more upgrades for the positron ejector, because if you install more, then they'll all cease to function until you uninstall that upgrade again. Once again, remember to have each upgrade adjacent to another for that bonus. That's all you need to do to install the module. When using it in combat, the weapon has a special 4 times damage bonus when hitting the rear of another starship. That means you should stay on your enemy's tails at all times for maximum damage output. However, when fully upgraded, this thing deals damage high enough to take out almost any ship head-on at close range in 2 hits. That's lucky, because after 3 hits it'll overheat and you'll have to wait over a second for it to cool down again. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed or are just happy to have learned something new, feel free to leave a like, and if not, feel free to dislike. Your presence truly does mean a lot to me, so even if this is the only video of mine you watch, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.